limited resources and many responsibilities, how can we make a difference in the world? Uh, let me start by uh, telling a story. Uh, it's a Zen fable, actually, uh, about uh, Rue Khan, who was uh, a famous Zen master. And once a fisherman uh, saw him walking on the beach, and uh, he was uh, throwing starfish into the sea. What had happened is that the, the previous night, a big uh, storm had brought in thousands of starfish onto the, onto the seashore and on the beach. And uh, as the sun was coming out, uh, very soon, they would dry out and they would start, start dying. The fish fisherman, you know, told Rev Khan, what are you doing? Uh, it's no use because I've seen it happen many a times. Um, it happens. Uh, many of the, you know, starfishes are on the beach and there are thousands of them. What difference of you, you know, doing what you're doing is going to make any difference whatsoever. And he throws another starfish into the sea and says, well, it makes a difference to this one. So, so it is not necessary to do big things or great things always. You know that I need to do something big or great to make a difference to the world or difference in the world. We can start by doing something small, something which makes an immediate impact to those around us. We can do that. We can even spend, let's say, a half a day in an orphanage which is close to our home or you know, feed the hungry, uh, even once a month. So start small, don't think of you know, starting big. And, and every action that we take or you take is going to make a difference in someone's life, and that life is important. So we need not start with big grandiose plans to do it. Uh, every small bit will count and make a difference to the person whom you're helping.